I'm David. I currently work as a pre-sales engineer here at Zoho. So we're going to talk about collaboration, driving change through collaboration, using Zoho WorkDrive and our Zoho Office Suite, which is just like, you know, a word processor, PowerPoint creator, Sheets um, as well, too. I've even spoken to HR teams who have processes like onboarding, right? And maybe they have certain files that they need to keep track of. And maybe one person has versions that are old and another person has updated versions. So we can get rid of all that stuff using WorkDrive. So when you can also apply it to other things, it's not really just HR focused. Let's say you guys have like a marketing team who's working on different assets, different, you know, creative briefs. Those can all be contained within one environment as well. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at a few different ways that we can drive change through collaboration. We're going to look at a live demo. I'll show you Zoho WorkDrive, how to create documents, look at notifications, and we'll also take a look at our mobile apps too. It's super commonly requested where, you know, how can I interact or contribute if I'm away from the office, right? So, and it's something that I can relate to myself. Even us here at Zoho, there's not, we can't always be in front of our computers. But I, even if I do step away from my computer, I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything because I have my phone with me, I have all my updates. So we'll take a look at that too. So if the agenda for today, we're going to look at Zoho WorkDrive, the Zoho Office Suite. We're also going to talk about how those applications can supplement your other Zoho apps. Let's say you're using Zoho CRM. WorkDrive and Office Suite can help you with that. If you're using Zoho People, Zoho Projects, different um, examples. We'll also focus on that real-time mobile collaboration using our phones. And then we'll talk about a few different business use cases. Okay, so let's get into it. The first thing that I really want to talk about is context switching. So kind of, I kind of alluded to it already. So imagine you're using the CRM for one process. You're using Zoho People for another process. Using maybe um, Google WorkDrive or a bunch of different applications. So, you know, according to Forbes, workers toggle between apps 10 times per hour. So think about the time that we could save instead of switching between these different applications. Um, going back to like one of the examples like project management, you know, why not just consolidate everything for that one project within one team folder? And then we can control who has access to that folder and what level of access do they have. So with Zoho WorkDrive, will serve as your central hub, right? It's going to be where you can store all of your different docs and sheets and presentations, all that good stuff there. So what we could do is, as you can see, WorkDrive is in the center, and around WorkDrive, we have all the different applications that could connect to it. These are just a few examples, right? But you've got projects going on. Maybe you got data inside of Zoho Books, or maybe you're recruiting people for HR or sending out documents for electronic signature. All of those things can be kept within one application, your central repository for your business, Zoho WorkDrive. Let's go ahead and talk about how we promote collaboration, obviously, and not just within Zoho applications. You can connect our WorkDrive application to a lot of third-party stuff. So a lot of people, when I speak to them in pre-sales, they've got their systems in place. They don't necessarily want to leave those applications. You can still bring those into the fold and get those interacting as well. And Zoho WorkDrive, you can use it as a standalone application, but you can also use it as part of a bundle, right? So we have Zoho Workplace, which is one of our bundles, and the main focus there would be probably email and chat, but Zoho WorkDrive can supplement all of those documents. If you go with Zoho One, it's going to be like a sales tool. Let's say you're using Zoho One, which is more than just HR. It could be sales-driven. It could be marketing-driven, project-driven. If you're using either of these bundles, you'll be able to utilize WorkDrive and treat it like your central repository. So let's talk a little bit about, you know, a possible use case or something that I've heard in the past. So let's say you're an HR company, and I've kind of alluded to this already, but let's say you got inconsistent information, right? Materials from various departments, inconsistent data, confusion. You know, we don't know what version is the most recent version of our documents, stuff's outdated lack of transparency, you know, new hires will give them access to folders, but they can't really find what they're looking for. So let's go ahead and see how Zoho WorkDrive could fix that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to transition over to my Zoho WorkDrive account. 
All right, so it may be a little hard to see, but this is Zoho Work Drive. You can see on that left side panel, that's how you navigate Zoho Work Drive. One thing that I want to touch on first is the team folders. So let's use the HR use case as an example. Let's go ahead and create maybe an HR onboarding folder. We'll get to decide if that folder is going to be public for anybody to access, or maybe we'll make it private. So we only have the HR team um, given access. Then we can decide what they can and can't do. So let's go ahead and walk through that. So what I'm going to do is on this left side panel, it might be a little hard to see, but we can go ahead and create new team folders. And I have a few here already. And you can see a little lock there. That means that's a private team folder. So you can only access that if you've been given that access. But let's go ahead and make a new team folder. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this plus symbol on that left side panel. And we get to give this folder a name. I guess going with that example, I'll just call this HR team. And then we'll decide, do we want this to be a public folder or a private folder? So I would imagine in this case, we want to make it private. So I only have a selected number of people given access. You can also give it a description, right? So anybody who accessed this folder, they can see what the purpose is too. But that is all. So once I create that folder, I will be the admin since I created it, but now I can add additional people. So let me go ahead and get my HR team in here. So I'll go ahead and get Zach in here. Uh, who else do we have? I think I have Anselmo. And we'll just use these two. After I've selected users from my organization to be a part of this team folder, I can then choose their role. So, you know, these two here, maybe I want to go ahead and give them full control or maybe just limited access to. So I'm going to leave them as an editor and we're going to go ahead and add them to this folder. Now, when Zach and Anselmo log into Zoho Work Drive, they'll be able to see that team folder on their left side panel. They can access. So let's go ahead and do that. Go to team folder. So that's it. Pretty simple. We've created the folder. And if I go up to the top, we can see that we have our three members. If I click into it, I can see those members and we can further adjust their permissions if needed. So it's not locked in, it's flexible, we can play with that. If I go back, now we have an empty team folder. So what can we do now? So if I hit this new button on the top right, we can go ahead and select to create Zoho Writer Files, which is our word processing tool. And if I create a writer file from this team folder, anybody within this folder will have access to those documents and we can collaborate and work on stuff together. Same thing with Zoho Sheet. We can go ahead and create spreadsheet, collaborate, communicate, all that good stuff there. You can also do some other stuff too. Um, I'll get to this in a second, but we have Zia AI. So if you want to generate content utilizing chat GPT or open AI service, you can do so. But let's go ahead and go through the process of creating a writer document, maybe something specific for HR. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just select a blank document, but we can also use templates too. So I'm going to create a new document. It's then going to take us to Zoho Writer, and now we can go ahead and build this out. So maybe the document here, we'll go ahead and call it something like Zoholic's Survival Guide, which we all need here. Now what I could do is some of the collaboration features. So what I can do is I can highlight items within this document. After that section is highlighted, we can go ahead and leave comments. And I can say something like, nice time. Now, you can also tag other users. So maybe I want to grab somebody's attention. I can hit the add symbol and start typing their name. And then we can go ahead and add them to this comment. So if you want to tag somebody and get their attention, you can do so within that document. So I can go ahead and tag Zach added now he'll get a notification saying that he's been mentioned so that's a nice feature that we have within um, this writer file other things that you can do um, if i go up to the top we can go ahead and share this document in different ways we can mark it as ready um, but what we can also do is like a review process so once we're done completing this document we can send it through a review process to make sure everything looks good so some nice collaborative tools there now if i just go ahead and close this out this will then take us back to our Zoho Work Drive team folder, and we can see those documents here. So pretty straightforward process. Now, let's say um, we're not working together with somebody or maybe away from each other. Uh, we don't have the ability to talk currently. Well, we can go ahead and just record ourselves, leave like an asynchronous message for each other too from here. So part of that collaborative um, tools. So if I hit new on the top right, I'm going to skip the sheet part. That's pretty straightforward. You know, we could build sheets. We could create presentations. But I can come down here to the recording section, and we can start a screen recording. 
We'll go ahead and allow these permissions. And then you can see here, now I'm at the bottom. So I could go ahead and share my screen. Maybe this one here. And we could go ahead and start a recording. And then I could go ahead and leave my message, tell people how the project went. So different ways to leave messages, interact with people. I can stop this recording and then save it into a specific file. So maybe some sort of update within an HR onboarding process or a project that we have. We could just go ahead and quickly use WordPress Snap to share these ideas. Like I mentioned, I kind of alluded to it as well, but we have Zia AI and we can generate content. Now I don't have any credit, so I can't run it unfortunately, but we can prompt Zia to generate content, maybe blog topics or whatever that may be, or maybe policy ideas, so different ways to play with it. But we do have Zia powered by OpenAI to generate custom images or generate content. So let's go back to the presentation. So we're gonna highlight first team folders, right? So like I mentioned, create team folders, collaborate with people, any document within that team folder we can access, update stuff. There's also a version control so we can see the most recent version, the first version. There's audit trails so we can see who made changes, all that good stuff there. You can also make presentations like the one that I'm presenting to you guys here. You can use Zaho Show to do so. And people can, labor can collaborate, review stuff, work together, all that good stuff. Another feature that we have within Zoho Work Drive is our smart search. So we looked at how to create folders, create documents, but it can be a hassle sometimes to find certain things, certain files or certain writer documents too. So our smart search can use keywords, search by certain keywords, pull up documents. It also supports OCR. And OCR is optical character recognition. And this allows you to search for content within a document, right? So maybe you have a scanned document that we can't edit, but I need to find something from that document. The smart search can do that. It also does support OD, which is object detection. So maybe you have pictures of cars. We can search for cars and it'll find those images here. So object detection, character recognition, keyword search, a great way to find those documents pretty quickly within Zoho Work Drive. The other feature that we touched on during that little demo was Work Drive Snap. So yeah, I touched on it already, but record on the go, screen sharing, save the recordings. And this is a great way to increase efficiency, right? So rather than just leaving things going unsaid, just go ahead and record yourself, share it with people, it's there. Um, also, it helps with flexibility because maybe you're not always at your desk. So now you can go ahead and maybe leave a message. Or I should say maybe your coworkers are not at their desk currently. So leave that message, drop it in there. It helps with the flexibility. Now, I do have an example of the Zia AI with this link. And as you can see here, this person is looking to generate content for blog top. And Zia AI will assist with that too. Now, it doesn't just do blog topics like I mentioned. You can create images um, as well. And this is a great way to, you know, sometimes people come with cross writer's block or they're just soft tilling creative. Well, Zia can help boost your creativity um, with this feature. All right, let's talk about something else. Let's talk about data prevention. We've tackled collaborative ideas and features but something that's super important is DLP, data loss prevention. So you can back up and restore your data, but the great thing about DLP is this feature allows you to upload documents and Zoho Work Drive will, you know, look at those documents. And if there's anything like personal health information that detects within a document, it can be labeled as such. And you'll be able to easily find documents containing personal health information it helps ensure confidentiality, gives you stronger security in a way, but DLP, definitely a feature that's required or requested, I should say, but it is available within Zoho Work Drive. The next one I'm gonna jump into is Backup and Restore. So this video, as it goes along, it's gonna demonstrate how we can configure backup settings for certain folders. And we can choose to back up specific folders and we can choose for which user we need to back up these folders to as well. 
Now, this does use one of our sister uh, companies application to help back up these files, and that's going to be Recovery Manager Plus, and that's powered by Bandage Engine. With that together with Zello Work Drive, you can make sure that your stuff is secure. If you ever lose it, you can restore it um, as well. So flexible restore options, version control, it gives you peace of mind because you know your stuff's always going to be there. You're not going to lose it. We can always back it up too. The next thing that I'm going to get into is custom applications. So we've primarily focused on how WorkDrive can connect to other Zoho applications or maybe some of those more common third-party applications, but you can also go custom. Let's say you guys have a custom application that's been created or some third-party application where there's not a pre-made connector. You can utilize custom apps to connect WorkDrive to those different systems. So you're not limited to just Zoho's umbrella. We can step outside of that, link folders to other custom apps, and have data transferred between the two. You know, one example of this is, I'm going to go back to Zoho. All right, we have an application called Zoho Clip. Maybe we'll connect Zoho Work Drive to Zoho Clip. And maybe whenever a file is deleted or a file is edited, we can have Clip messages sent out to people for instant alerts. So notifications, third-party applications, you know, these custom apps help with enhanced automation. It really just kind of helps you out get everything connected together. Okay, next is going to be workflows. So this one has been commonly requested, and we're actually, I think we just announced it during this Zoholics, but we're now able to create workflows within Zoho WorkDrive. So in the past, let's say you guys had a document that needed to be reviewed. Typically, the way that you would handle it is just manually, right? Maybe shoot somebody an email, check out this document, review it, does it look good? That person may or may not get back to you. Maybe they reviewed it, maybe they didn't. But we can implement workflows that'll start the process. And we can decide what's gonna kickstart that process. So you can see here, somebody uploaded a file into Zoho Work Drive. That file was then sent for review by two different people. After they approved that file, the file was then moved to a new folder called Approved Adlets or Approved Content. Workflows, kind of similar to what you can do in some of our other apps like CRM, configure these rules and once that works it was triggered we can go ahead and have that process take place automatically as well but let's talk about the zoho office suite so pretty straightforward stuff here i'm sure you guys are really familiar with word processors spreadsheet builders and editors we have our own version of that and this loop is just highlighted some of the stuff that we talked about but creates edit review content you'll see here this person will highlight a section and then utilize zia to summarize that content. After it's summarized, they can go ahead and insert it into the document. And then if needed, we can tag somebody and say, hey, take a look at this um, generated content. How does it look? So you can do quick chat, tag people, different ways to engage um, with your coworkers or colleagues. And you can also see here with Zia Insights, we can pull up metrics within the document. So we can get things like gram grammatical suggestions. We can take a look at statistics. What words are we using more than others? Um, there's even translation features within Zoho Writer as well. Um, but yeah, pretty nice tool. Work together. A lot of nice AI features within it um, to help you guys out. All right, awesome. Let's go ahead and jump into the next section. So one other feature that's been requested pretty commonly is PDF editing. So with Zoho Work Drive, or I'm sorry, Zoho Writer, you are able to upload PDFs. You can edit those PDFs, and you can also convert them into fillable forms too. So we do have that feature. It was something that was heavily requested. It is available within Zoho Writer. Spreadsheets, pretty straightforward, but we can use spreadsheets or Zoho Sheets to collaborate as well. So you can see here, we got a sheet created. We tag somebody as well. Live or quick chat is available too. Now there's also Zia available within Zoho Sheet. Let me quickly show you guys this. I didn't want to show you some. So if we have a sheet, I just got some random deals there, some revenues, 
different metrics, dates, and you know, sales information. What we can do is I can just drag and drop and highlight a certain section of this spreadsheet. And on this right side panel, I can enable Zia and it'll use the data that I highlighted to generate charts. And if I hover over the chart, it'll just kind of show you what columns it's pulling it from as well. So this one here is pulling from the existing business, the new business, this one as well. And then what I can do with this is we can drag it and drop it into the spreadsheet. And now it can be a part of our spreadsheet too. So pretty nice feature involving um, our AI via presentation, right? So I used Zoho Show to create this presentation. You guys could do the same. But all of those features that I um, highlighted are also available here. Collaboration, quick chat, comments, tagging people, super flexible. Okay, so let's get into the final part. Um, of this, this presentation. Let's talk about real-time mobile collaboration. So yeah, a lot of people are not always at their desk. A lot of people are on the go. And like I mentioned earlier, even myself, when I step away from the computer, I can still stay connected to my team. And you can get notifications in real time, upload files and documents, contribute, help each other out. So let's go ahead and take a look at Zoho WorkDrive on the mobile app. So one thing I wanna highlight if I hit the arrow on the top left of the mobile app, it's going to take us to that left side panel within Zoho WorkDrive. Now, you can see here we've got some red notifications. We'll be able to see that through the mobile app. I can access also, at the very top, we have the all unread section. So anytime somebody uploads something to a team folder or makes a change to it, we'll get a notification within the unread section. So we can stay in the loop see what's going on. If people are updating things, we can see that through notifications. Now, let's kind of go through the process of creating a document within the mobile application. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my HR onboarding team folder. Within this folder at the bottom, I'm going to hit the plus sign. This will then allow me to create new folders, presentations, spreadsheets, documents. I could even take a photo with my phone, upload it into Zoho WorkDrive if needed too. Or if you want to do a voice recording, we can do so as well. But if I want to create a document, we can do so. And I can give it a name. And we can hit create. This will then take us to Zoho Writer. Now within this Writer document, I can type in my information and then still do the same process that I did with the desktop application. We can highlight text. We can scroll over. I can leave comments. I can tag people as well. Same idea involving our sheets and presentations. If I want to go ahead and create a spreadsheet from the mobile app, we can do so. I'll just call this text. And I'll hit create. And there we go. Now we're inside of Zoho Sheets. And if we have an existing sheet, we can make changes to it, update it, all that good stuff. So I'm sure you guys are super familiar with writer documents, spreadsheets, PowerPoints, but now you have the ability to do that within your mobile application collaboratively. So if you're not just siloed on your own, you can still work as a team. Also, let's take a look here. One thing I did want to highlight was the photo section. So we can go ahead and take photos and video from the phone. And we can go ahead and just take that snapshot. Oh, that's not a good picture, but that's okay. And we can use that photo. And then we can just go ahead and upload that within a folder or somewhere inside of Zoho Work Drive. But cool, awesome. I know I had a really short session, but I was hoping I could get a good amount of information um, displayed for you guys. Thank you for the time. Thank you for joining.